Hello, everybody. Crips here, and as usual, thanks for joining me. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to show you the cool little feature called Subtitle Editor in Video Studio 6. So let's get cracking. So uh, I've got a little uh, video clip here. Now, I'm using a GoPro, and it's, it's, it was upside down, but I'm not really worried about that because uh, I can easily just fix that by using the rotation tool here in the uh, attributes. All right, so here we go. So um, a little side hobby that I have, I, I, I race motorbikes and I also teach guys how to race motorbikes. So I've got a student here and now quite often what I do is uh, I, I videotape them and then I g give them the video at the end and then they can see their mistakes or what they can do to improve. So I'm um, just give, give you a little listen. So click, 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 telling him to get the lid up. Turn the bike off. So I'm telling him to turn the bike off. Now, uh, when I finish all this and I give it to him, he may not be able to hear everything I'm saying. So it would be a good idea if I also gave him subtitles saying just in case he goes, what did he say? He doesn't need to guess. He can read it. So this is where something like the subtitle editor comes in quite handy. So let's go back to the beginning of the clip and I'm going to select subtitle editor. Okay, so here we go. So here's your interface and I'll explain your interface is quite simple to use. Uh, before you start the scan process, you need to set up a couple of things. So here is my video recording quality. So it's basically asking when you recorded this, were you indoors or outdoors? Were you inside a sound studio or wherever you were? So I was outdoors, so I'm gonna set that I'm gonna set it to a fair. That means there was a fair amount of background noise. So my setting would be fair. My sensitivity is how sensitive do you want it to be to pick up where you start and where you stop talking. Again, I'm outside, so I'm gonna make the sensitivity quite high. If I was indoors, I would probably pick it low because I'm not going to be disturbed by other sounds. But I am outdoors, so I'm, I'm going to pick height. And that's it. That's all I need to do. Once I'm quite happy with everything, I'll press scan. Now, it'll create a WAV file. And everywhere it thinks it's creating or where you talk, it will create a marker. And obviously, here's the first marker. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this will tell me that it's picking up the click-click sound with me flicking my helmet. Let's have a listen. Yep. All right, so now I've got two options. I can either type in click, 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 click. Uh, I don't think the guy's that dense, so I don't need this, uh, this WAV file or this marker, so I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to press delete on my keyboard, and everything moves up to uh, back to, to number one. So it doesn't go uh, zero and then to two. It goes one, two, and it goes back into sequence. That's the word I'm looking for, right? It goes back into sequence. So then the first one, it should be where I'm actually talking. Turn the bike off. All right, so I'm, I'm saying turn the bike off. Now, video uh, or all, all subtitle editors aren't or isn't a magical tool where it also puts the words in for you. You will still need to do that. There is no such thing out there at the moment that I'm aware of that magically adds the words in as well. So yeah, I'm saying turn your bike off. So I click on it once, and I'll just type in turn your bike off. Sorry about that. I'm not the uh, world's fastest typers. I'm a one-finger bandit. <laughs> that could mean a couple of different things, couldn't it? Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, okay, so there it is here. Now, bear in mind, this screen this is a preview screen, so this text here is quite small, but you can change the font and everything. And I would advise you to do it on the first clip, which sets it up for every other clip afterwards. So go into your text options. And here it is. So I find that the font here is uh, 18. It's probably a little bit too small. So I'm going to go up slightly larger, maybe to 26. And then I've got the options. Do I want bold around it? Do I want to glow around it? Uh, uh, where do I want to place it? Do I want to place it at the top? Do I want to place it in the middle? Do I want to place it at the bottom? I'm going to stick to just this settings. And that will then set it up for every other uh, title after this sequence. So press OK. All right, let's keep going. You're going to crash down at the bottom. So let's just type that in. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do three, and then it gives you a good idea of what it is or how to use it. Uh, you're going to crash at the bottom, right? Good to know. I'm sure he likes to hear that. You're going to crash. Nope. Yep, down at the bottom. All right. So press OK. Or just press anywhere in the screen. It doesn't really matter. One more. You got to get off the bike. You got to get off the bike. 
Now, as you can see, uh, it picked up, you got up, didn't put the slang in, you got to get off the bike. It, it, uh, it picked up exactly where I spoke and start and stop. So it does a pretty good job in determining where I begin and where I end. And I'm going to press OK. So I'm not going to do all of them. Like I said, I'm just going to do a few just to give you an idea. And I'm going to press OK. So there you go. My title text, uh, I can see my words. So I can go back and change the words if I need be. But let's have a, let's have a look to see how close or accurate the... Uh, the uh, Sorry, the uh, subtitle ever came. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sound quite unaudible. Here we go. Turn the bike off. You're going to crash that back to the bottom. You've got to get off the bike. All right, so I'm really, really happy with that. It basically came up just as I spoke, and it ended just when I finished speaking. So for me, uh, I think it did a fantastic job. Uh, giving me the subtitles at the right place and stopping and starting so they weren't overlapping and it's uh, uh, and as far as i can see the sync was very very good so that is an excellent feature to have when you're doing videos like this uh, another section of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the voiceover so i'm going to clear this out go for a new project no i don't want to save it uh, okay i've got another clip going in so here is another student. He's uh, there's a we're a little school. We're a little school, and there's a few teachers, and we teach different students. So here's a guy following the teacher, and I'm going to follow the student and record him. So again, later on, he can view his lines and say, "Oh, I can see where I'm making the mistake." So here we go. We see him come in, and then he goes around the corner. Now I can narrate this. I can say, uh, "You're going too fast. You've got to pull it in further." So first I'm going to do, because I'm going to create a, a voiceover file, I don't really need a lot of the background noise. So I'm going to go here into the sound mixer. I'm going to highlight the first key note. And with my shift key, I'm going to pull it down. And then you can see I'm lowering the volume of the entire clip. All right, no, I didn't do that. Let's do it again over here. Something went wrong, but that's okay. Don't panic. All right, so I've just decreased the volume of the sound in this clip and then I can do a better voiceover. So the background noise is lowered and then he should be able to hear my voice a lot clearer. So I'm gonna go back to the start and I'm gonna press here, record capture options and what do you know, voiceover. Now the minute I press start, it'll play the clip and then I can speak as well. So let's do that, press start. All right, so I'm gonna tell this guy that he's drifting into the line a bit too far. He can lean over more so I can, basically talk and tell him what to do say yes you're approaching the corner right you should now drop back down to second gear the braking should happen here get off the seat and so forth so forth press my space bar to stop and instantly i created the wave file let's go back and press play all right so i'm going to tell this guy that he's drifting into the line a bit too far he can lean over more so i can basically so there you go i've created a voiceover narration so it's another uh, excellent feature that you could use for whatever reason for me it worked really good because like i tell you uh i teach guys how to ride and this is a good way to give them a video with narrations or subtitles depending on uh, what the guy wants so as you can see video studio is quite remarkable or quite easy to use for any type of activity that you do I'm a big user on uh, Premiere Pro, but I have to admit, Video Studio is by far a lot easier to use for simple things like this. It gets done within a couple of minutes, and that's it, and I've got exactly what I want. So, I hope uh, I didn't babble you with too much bullshit, and as always, thanks for watching.